guys, it's Coach Sherry here. I'm with my crew here. Um, I just finished uh, Playa Side um, right here in my family room, so I'm all sweaty. But there, uh, Gianna's fascinated with herself in the video. So, <laughs> and she's got crackers, so the dogs want to hang out with her. But anyway, I just had a thought that if um, <clears throat> a lot of you are uh, plateauing with your squats, typically you're you're not changing up. Um, you know your workouts and it might be just a slight little movement that you can make so typically if you're doing a squat your legs should be shoulder width apart you're going down and butt back make sure your knees are not over your toes and bring it on up so again typical squat core tight and bring it on up to change it though if you've been doing squats like that go wider all right feet are out 45 degree angle bring it on down try to touch the floor Bring the arms up, down, and up. That engages your legs, your butt, your inner thighs, outer thighs, your core. You're bringing it down and up. Another thing to add on, move, move aside, is down, bring your toes up. Down, engage those calves, bring it on up. So, and if you're still wanting to stick with your regular squat, you might want to add a little jump. So basically, or touch the floor. Start with touching the floor, bring yeah. it on up. Use some light weights, and last but not least, bring it down and jump up. Down, jump up. All right, if you can't touch the floor, just stay on the thighs, right here. Just little hops. But it adds to some cardio, changes up your squats a little bit, and let me tell you, it adds a lot of intensity. All right, guys, that was just a quick tip. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.